All right, we're back here in this week in Bison Sports on 101.5 UMFM. Tell the vast listening audience on 101.5 UMFM your name, your position, and uh, what are you doing uh, this week? Uh, my name is Stan Pierre. I'm the defense coordinator of the University of Manitoba. And Hold on. And you're also... The assistant head coach. There you go. And you defensive like coordinator of the University of Manitoba. And uh, we're here at Canada Cup. Where we're scouting uh, future Bisons, hopefully. Now that would be great. Hey, uh, I'm Frank Prinsby. I am the assistant recruitment coordinator for the Bisons. And doing the same thing as Stan over here, just uh, hopefully recruiting a couple of Bisons. So. Hold on here. You're the assistant, Frank. Like, who's... You're, you're, should we get you another... Thing. Can we not get you another <laughs> position title change or something? Can you change him right Frank, now? Frank's our recruiting coordinator. There you go. There you, go there. you just yeah. got promoted just, just got right promoted. now. We're always breaking news here on 101.5 UMFM. Uh, this is a pretty big week, actually. It's a pretty big event. Uh, either one kind of explains sort of... A lot of you might not know what's going on this week in Winnipeg. Well, this is uh, some of the best under 18 players in Canada. So uh, they're grade 11 kids going into their grade 12 years. So in terms of recruiting, it's a really important year for them. So this gets a chance to, for a lot of the coaches in Canada, to see a lot of players live from uh, many different parts of the country. So uh, what this event really is, um, as long as the kids competing for their provinces, them getting opportunities to get CIS scholarships and CIS coaches getting an opportunity to see them and, and, and try to recruit them to their programs. Let me tell you, it looks like almost all CIS coaches are out here this week. It's a bit of a feeding frenzy out there when, when their games are over. Oh, it's uh, Johnny B. Good out there, the old movie. It's uh, it, it's it's very competitive. Uh, I guess that's the best way. We got a home field advantage a bit being here in Winnipeg? Yeah, it's been really good having it in Winnipeg, you know, having the kids being able to see our facility and, you know, being able to set up some meetings uh, with kids, which is not as easy to do uh, when you're on the road for one of these events. So, yeah, it's been really good. Frank, uh, you know, you just got promoted. So, you're, you're oh, you know, you know all about this. But now you know a lot of these names, but you see them in person a bit. Just talk about sort of what you're looking for evaluations and how does this tournament, this event really help sort of maybe try and bring some of these guys to Manitoba? Well, usually a tournament like this, especially it being in Manitoba um, the best kids are coming to play and compete so uh, already seeing them on film it's good to see what they line up as and see what they are compared to uh, some of the other best prospects in the nation so uh, do you, as, a, as this event being here is it nice at the stadium a lot of the games we play at investors group field can you go and show them the buys and facility and all that and yeah we've had kids down uh, for the you know, it, certain kids down for the for the tournament, and we're taking hopefully Team uh, Nova Scotia down tomorrow. You know that sort of thing, and uh, yeah, anybody who wants to see it, obviously we're very willing to show it to them. Frank, uh, without maybe getting too specific, but is there certain positions, certain teams that you're more looking at this week as opposed to others? Uh, oh, for sure, at every position, right? So we always want to. Doesn't matter at any position. We want to bring in the best athletes we can. It's really. Everybody and anything, right? So just the best athletes just to bring into our program, right? Now, so. I have a, a more serious question for you. Why are you in this picture behind us here? What was that about by any well, chance? That's, uh, that's my uh, senior season, the only one championship I won over there. So the one team I play for with the Eagles, so yeah. There you go. I mean, this is a proud, this is proud, proud time here. I mean, it's good. You're in the Hall of Famer, which is, which is a good thing. Um, before we go about this, I'd be remiss to ask, training camp, main camp is coming up within about a month's time or so. Yeah. You must be doing nothing before then, right? Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's, uh, it's a busy time for sure. Uh, I mean, we're pretty close to ready to go. We're not. There's not going to be any surprises and that sort of stuff. And you know, we're we're uh, we're interested to see what our team looks like coming through training camp. There's a lot of young talent on our team, but it's young. So uh, we'll see how it all comes together and see how uh, competitive we are. Uh, and lastly, for Frank here, so these are seven teams we're looking at, probably mostly 17, 18. Yeah, under 18, yes. No, no, but I'm talking about 2017, 2018. Yes, class. yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, I like this on a rating scale. A pretty good class that, that's coming up. Oh, for sure. We think it's one of the best uh, in a very long time, it's, it's specifically with Manitoba. So Yeah, because really it's excited. sometimes it's a cycle, right? But yeah. Manitoba's very strong. They have two teams here sort of playing. Yeah, Manitoba. oh, for sure. We're really excited. Hopefully we get a lot of them. So. Well, that's the goal. That's, that's what we want to do. Well, Stamp here. 
Frank Prince Fee, thank you very much for your time. Um, lastly here, do you have a prediction for golf? This, uh, it's the Open this week, and you're a big golf fan. Uh, I don't. Because um, this is going to air after kind of it happens, so you're going to be either a fool or, or, or a genius when yeah, you say this. Yeah, honestly, I'm going to predict and I'm going to say that it's going to be somebody outside the top ten, somebody we didn't expect to win. I don't think any of those guys are going to win. I don't think DJ's going to win. I don't think Rory's going to win. I don't think uh, Jason Day's going to win. I think it's going to be somebody bizarre. All right, something bizarre. I like that. That's stamp here in a nutshell there. Uh, you're listening to This Week in Buys and Sports. Oh, 101.5. UMFM.